Welcome to the Commutative and Associative Properties. Everybody loves these so much. I know. Uh, hopefully I can clear some things up for you and it will be of help. I'm first going to give it to you in the math sense and then I'll give it to you in the people sense. Uh, let's see which one you know. Uh, the Commutative Property tells me that if I have a plus B, I can say B plus A. Notice I'm adding, so this is the community property of addition. For example, if I say 5 plus 1, I can also say 1 plus 5, because what's 5 plus 1? Well, it's 6. And 1 plus 5 is also 6. I get the exact same answer. It doesn't matter which order the numbers are. Um, I can also do this for multiplication. Addition, subtract, uh, I'm sorry, addition and multiplication are the only properties this works with. I can say A woo, times B will equal the same as B times A every single time every single time. Notice I'm multiplying. Okay, so if I said 3 times 4, it's going to give me the exact same thing as 4 times 3. Because 3 times 4 is 12. I bet you 4 times 3 is also 12. It really is. Okay, now let's see. I'm going to do my little drawing. I'm home. And I'm going to get in my car. And I'm going to commute I know. To school. It's a big school. Okay, so I go in one direction, or I can say three times four. Well, when school's over, I'm going to do the same route, which gives me the same result, and drive down the same streets. The only difference is I'm going, whoa, no, I'm not taking a detour. I'm going the same distance. I'm going just the opposite direction. So if this were A and this were B, I go from A to B from home to school and then I go back and then I go from B to A, getting the same result. And that's why they call it the commutative property is because it's exactly like your commute to and from school. Okay? Associative property. Mm -mm -mm. Can you tell I love my properties? The associative property. Ooh, this can get to be a mean property. I've seen kids have so many feelings hurt over this property. The reason being is because friend A plus friend B plus friend C equals friend A plus friend B plus friend C. Okay, so you're telling me A plus B plus C equals A plus B plus C. Notice I did not change the order of A, B, and C. The reason feelings get hurt so bad over this property is because I first associate or hang out with A and B. And who does that leave out? That leaves C out. And then the next day, I hang out with B and C. And that leaves A out. See, the person always left out always gets their feelings hurt. 
What does that mean in math? How on earth am I ever going to use that in math? Well, let's see if it works. And just like the commutative property, this works for adding, and this works for multiplying. So I can also say a times b times c. Notice the order does not change. It's who I associate with that changes. And I'm going to put parentheses around who I associate with. It's like giving that those two people big, huge hugs. You're going to hug A and B. Uh, we don't want to see you C. And then I'm going to hug B and C. Uh, I want to see you A. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to associate with A and B, leaving C out. I know it's not very nice. And I'm going to associate with B and C, leaving A out. Well, if I said 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 1 plus 2 plus 3, remember, according to PEMDAS, or order of operations, I have to solve what's inside my parentheses first. So I have to solve 1 and 2. 1 plus 2 is 3, and then I add 3 which, and then over here, I associate or I add the 2 and 3. 1 plus, and 2 plus 3 is 5. Well, 3 plus 3 equals 6. Guess what? 1 plus 5 also equals 6, and therefore 6 is equal to 6. And this goes for multiplication, too. If I said 2 times 3 times 4, I'm going to get the same exact n number if I say 2 times 3 times 4. But I'm going to apply the associative property, and I'm going to multiply 2 times 3 first, and then I'm going to multiply 3, whoops, 3 times 4. Do I get the same result? If I get the same result, then... I've done the associative property correctly, or I multiplied wrong. Okay, so 2 times 3 is 6, times 4 is 24. I can also say 3 times 4 is 12, and then multiply times 2, I still get 24. And that's the commutative and associative property. Okay, let's take a look at this problem. And as we evaluate the problem, let's use everything we've used, or at least most of everything we used, using the properties. Okay, let's take a look at step by step. I'm going to first solve this right here, or I'm at least going to write it out. I'm going to use the distributive property, which would tell me 6 times x is 6x minus 6 times 2y. Remember, you're multiplying the coefficients, so that's 12y, rewriting my problem, plus now I'm going to distribute the 4. 4 times negative 3x, or 4 times negative 3, gives me a negative 12x. And then 4 times y, that's a plus sign. 4 times y is 4y. Okay. Now, which property am I going to use? I need to combine like terms. When I combine like terms, I take a look at it. I have an x. That doesn't look like an x. Where am I? Oh, that's not an x. Here's my x. Okay. So I need to associate the 6x 
plus negative 12x, 6x plus negative 12x. I use that, and I'm going to solve that. Oh, I never wrote the x. And then I have a negative 12y and a positive 4y. Okay, so I use my associative property. Uh, 6 plus a negative 12. I don't like to use this in the middle. Technically, a positive and a negative is a negative, so it's 6x minus 12x, and 6 minus 12x would give me a negative 6x. Here I have a negative 12 and a positive 4. Uh, this I always like to say when dealing with integers that when the signs are different, you find the difference, and the difference of 12 and 4 is 8 and the negatives on the larger number. Okay, I cannot combine these any further. Reason being is because one's an x and one's a y. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at another problem in using our properties. I have seven times ac plus 2b plus 2ac. Now, according to PEMDAS, I do inside the parentheses first, but these aren't like terms, so I can't solve inside the parentheses. So I'm going to have to use the distributive property. I'm going to distribute 7 times ac plus 7 times 2b, and then I have plus 2ac. Notice I took out this, I have 7 acs and I have 7 2bs. Now, is there anything that has the same variables? Sure. I have 7 ac and I have a positive 2ac. And when I combine the coefficients, 7 plus the operations right there, 7 plus 2, I get 9 ACs all together. I know. 7 plus 2, that's a difficult one. And what do I have left? Plus 7 times 2B, and I can simplify that. 9ac plus 7 times 2 is a 14b. This is my answer. This is as far as I can go because I have no variables that are the same. Okay. Thank you.